Today, we're going to be doing a full headshot with just these Q6 lights. This is the bicolor, and then they have the RGB version. Those ones are the ones behind me next to the model. So this is Hajara, our model for the day. So let's begin the shoot and let's see how we got the shot. So here I am setting up the lights. I used the full power of both RGBs and the bike color. So we turn them on, as you can see, it falls beautifully on the model. And I have a reflector below to pick up some of the bike color light to bounce back into the face as well. And I have my assistant Kwame, who is with the fourth light. So he moves the light according to how we are trying to get the look. So either from above to the side and below the chin as well. And so far, I'm really impressed with it. The second look, we changed the colors to blue and to green, and the results were equally amazing as well. Check them out. So with the headshots that we did, I realized that the Q6 is actually quite bright. So I want to take that same light and then expand it onto about three quarters of the model that I am shooting today. So let's extend the lights, move them further back, change the outfit, and let's get some more shots and see how it turns out. Picasso, I like it. So even when moved further back, they are still bright enough, as you can see in this shot. These lights are amazing, they are great. And using both back colors in the blue hue, they turned out amazing. So that wraps up the shoot with the Q6 light. We were very, very impressed with how bright it was, even for a close-up headshot all the way to a three-quarter shot. It was amazing. And from now on, I'm sure that I'm going to be using it from time to time during my actual photo shoot, but it will also be very great for video as well. So I enjoyed it, everybody enjoyed it. And Hajar, I hope you enjoyed it as well. Good. All right. So thank you very much. And that will be it for now. So see you in the next video with the light blaster. See you soon. Bye-bye.